your girl Andrea otherwise known as that pit advocate and we're gonna do a building update so things are getting crazy my hair is crazy this morning it is what it is but let's talk about the building and all of the the things that have been happening um so I think it's been like two weeks since the last update so there is some progress all of the concrete is now done so I will show you that um and now we're waiting for the crew that puts up the building to show up I'm so crossing my fingers that this building is done and we can utilize it this fall yet, but I'm just not making any promises. So as it goes with construction, I guess. Anyways, we'll show you the building update and we'll yeah walk through all of the fun stuff that happened. And it actually looks like something now. So you should be able to follow me a little bit more and get an actual insight on like, this is what this is versus me like, this is what this is supposed to be, but it doesn't look like it. So let's check it out. Like a full view like this. And then I just leave it like this. You can actually see what I'm talking about and I'll zoom out a little bit. So I am standing in the corner of what is going to be our office. And there is an old garage over there that we're gonna move the structure, like the, um, what's it called? <laughs> the studs and like the you know all the wood framing of it whatever that lovely thing is called um over here and then tin it um cover it with steel all that fun stuff and make it into an office so this is where the office is going to be here. um this is where all of our water lines come up so it's nice that it's going to be covered it'll be inside the building it's actually going to be like in the bathroom in the corner um that way it's all kind of in one room so we'll have you know the toilet the fun place to be sink drain here so if you need to wash calves um off if they're you know born in the wrong situation or for some reason they get wet or if they're in an outside yard and they need to come in and they're full of manure because it does happen cows tend to drop cows and not or cows tend to drop calves in the not the best places if i can talk today so it'll be nice that we can have a drain there we'll have a tv with cameras and a couch and all that fun stuff in here fridge with meds but yeah so then you're gonna walk from the office through here there's gonna be a door with a window so we can creep on the cows and this is our working facility so our new chute will be sitting here it's sitting over by the house it did did arrive we got an aero equip um 107 series so i will show you that as well and then we'll have some pan or some uh, alleyways built here with the gate guy and then we'll funnel them in from outside so we got to figure out the whole situation out here that's coming with having the barn done we'll have more of an idea of what we need hydraulics will be set up they'll be in the office um all that fun stuff but the shoot will sit right here and then they'll kind of funnel out this way when we do work them. This is our little approach, fun thing to drive onto. Um, we're gonna have a water fountain outside. So when we do have cows out on stalks and bean stubble in the fall, they have a water fountain. And then if we have, we're gonna have extra cows too. Um, if they're out in the field during the winter, there's a water fountain, there's an extra one. It's just nice to have it. We'll have a pen there. That's why the little pad is there with the tiling coming up. Um, this is the alleyway you drive on to feed. Like I've said, this one's been done for a while. It's not anything new. And then this is where the bunks are going to sit right along the edge and the building will be up and above. This is where the cows will stand to eat with the bunks right here. Um, there will be gates across all of these that you can kind of open this way and shut so you can lock cows on the um, bedding or off the bedding and you can sort and use this alleyway. So like if we need to go pull you know, pen number six way at the end, you can lock all the cows on the bed pack and run them through and use the alleyway. Also can use it as a holding pen after you work calves right here since they can funnel out. It'll be really easy and handy and go that route. Um, this will all be a bed pack, so we gotta add some more fill in here so it gets a little more even and then start bedding her when we can start to add. These will all have more um, pipes going across it for the gates. Each two pens shares a water fountain, so we got some Richie water fountains in. We went from blue to yellow, if you know you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it just was it is. Um, so they all sit on these little pads all the way down. And then there'll be gates across, so this is where pen one to pen two is. There'll be gates crossed here and across, um, so they share their water fountain, but otherwise they're separate. We will be combining pens just because you, know, you can use one cleanup bowl. I'm going to AI, but you can have one cleanup bowl per two pens, which is about 50 to 52, 54 head. Um, this is our creep pen. So we're gonna have pens outside of here that we can have calves in to eat creep feed. They can get away from mom. We can wean really easy because if you have a gate that's like yay high, 
only the calves can get out. It's similar to how an actual like creep feeder works. It's me really excited. I'm excited to get the calves um, out and about in a way they like to be independent. So this is pen two, same type of thing. Got to add fill. It's just dirt right now. So we have a pile of clay and we'll dig up some more clay and add that on and maybe some gravel and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, the creep feed gate thingamajiggers. <laughs> It's one per two pens since we're gonna share pens with the bowl situation. It just makes it a lot easier versus having six holes. We only had to cut three. We didn't cut three, they just only didn't pour three. Um, little area, so there's the other one. So I'm now in pen three. So pen three and four share. So three, four, and then five and six are down there. Once again, they share the waterers. All kinds of really nice piping. <laughs> And really thick concrete, like it's not gonna break. You could run into it with a lot of things and it's not gonna break, which is probably good because if you get the skid loader going in here and if you have a payloader, thick concrete makes it harder to break. So hopefully it's indestructible, is the plan. Knock on wood. You never know with my dad. And this is our other creep door. So we will have this like covered and shut tight um, with a door that slides most likely um, for winter. That way, the snow from the north does not come in because we live in Minnesota. Things get real fun. So you can see my dad started adding some more fill in here. There's more fill in this pen than there is in the other ones. The goal is to get the fill just about even with where we're at here. Um, it won't be perfect, but we'll be adding fill for the first couple of years, I have a feeling, as it kind of goes down. But this is pen six or pen one, whatever we end up calling it, all the way on the end. And we did pour another pad back here of concrete to one turn around on and also pile manure. Um, so it's just a little bit of an area. And we will probably pour this as well and put some walls up since we have the forms to have like a manure bay. We can hold it when we scrape it out um, and stockpile it until obviously fields are out now. So we can haul because when you're a crop farmer too, your fields are full of corn and beans <laughs> until fall and winter and that's when you haul like crazy so this will eventually we'll add some fill so you can drive on it and such um but it will become concrete too so but yeah there's their porta potty that they had for all your viewing pleasure the dogs are being nuts but it's starting to actually look like a building really windy. Bunks are here, so we are missing just a little section of bunks, otherwise they are all here and set. There's this one that's missing, I'm gonna get that one. And then, nice in a straight line, they're where they're supposed to be. Easy peasy, perfection, bunks are here. Now we wait to finish. Um, we're getting fill in there, so you can see. Jasmine and Bales. Uh, put a lot of fill in so we have most of it up high enough now that we're good to go to start creating the bed pack once cattle are in here but otherwise it's just putting the building up now and finishing gates otherwise everything else is good to go putting water fountains in we set gotta take all these things off yet but the stuff is here of our rafters canvases it's all here it just needs to be put on and then gates 
on all the pipes. Otherwise, we're getting there. I have no idea what most of this means, but um, <laughs> it has our name on it, so it's the stuff. Lots of it. Every single section is its own, which is nice, but... Project, um, <laughs> bracing this old garage and lifting it up off the ground to hopefully move it across the yard to become the office for the new barn. So, it needs to be moved anyways or taken down because it's kind of in the way with like bulk bins and all that fun stuff for trucks getting. So, uh, we've been getting her braced, cleaned it out, got all of the bolts cut off, getting her going. And she's actually off the ground now, so you can see daylight with a jack, so. Almost to the barn. Will we make it? I hope so. This far, we need to make the ramp longer because we're bottoming out right about there. So, good news, bad news, all of the above. Hey, Ness, you got a cord? He's okay. on the concrete pad. Now we just gotta jack her down and then drive away. Gonna pull her out. Okay, I'm watching back here. He's plenty good in the back. I hope you know how hard it is to like watch. Drop it down a little. Now we should be good.
Eight stuff has arrived.
check it out. So I'm standing in the working facility right now. But there's not a lot left. So, building update. Lots is happening. We're just gonna put it all together in one video and figure it out. But I'm standing where the working area is gonna be. So there'll be a double alley and a bud box in here that collapses against the wall. Have our, our not our tub chute, our chute sitting up there, a new hydraulic chute. That's the office, gotta tin that whole thing. There'll be a doorway, you can come out here, you can close this off, have it open for cows to be in if you need to have a couple heifers in here. Do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, it is Tuesday, so mental note, this is Tuesday. I'm gonna be gone for a couple days, but I'm gonna come back and do another update and it might be close to done. So standing from this front corner, this is the alley where they're gonna stand to eat because the bunks are here. There's all the pens, you can gate them off, you can swing it. All that fun stuff that you drive. We need another section of bunk right there, obviously. But I will come show you how all of this kind of fits together. So this gate right here, when this is all the way over, the mess is running around, the dogs love it here. So this gate will kind of latch. It's not actually latched, but it wants to move a little bit. Um, this divides pen one and pen two. So I'm in pen one, this is pen two. And then if you want to, Lock cows over on the bed pack area. It can swing all the way over and hook right to that post. There's a nice little thing in there. Um, so you can lock cows, you can move cows down the alleyway, you can drive down the alley, you can do a lot of options. All the pens are set up that way so the gates swing in or out. Um, all kinds of, I mean, you can go really anywhere. Then we have the gates over the waterer. So each two pens share a waterer and they have a gate over top of it um, that kind of fits into there. And you can also open that. So if we need to shove a calf through, pull a cow through, do whatever, access things, um, it's really easy to do that. There's gates in the back that also, it should sit like right there. Um, right now it's against the wall. So you can open that up. You could have literally everyone together or you could have them in the individual pens. We have our creep openings in the back. We have to get gates made for those yet. Um, and then eventually we'll have pens outside the calves and get out too. So it'll be nice and then get away from mamas and all that fun stuff. Now I'm walking over into pen three. I'll show you the rail system, so bear with me. So as you can see, um, it's not really the best angle, but it can sit lower or higher. Um, and this is currently in the top one. So when we wean calves this week, it'll be on the next one down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Um, but easy to adjust. Each of these in a pen is an individual section. So you can see they're two separate pieces. And then we're gonna have a piece in here um, covering the bunk. That way if a calf gets into the bunk, um, they can't go all the way down. They're stuck in their pen bunk area for the most part, unless they jump over it when they're older. But the goal is to keep it so young calves can't get um, in the wrong pen and get squished and actually hurt if they find the wrong mom that doesn't like them. But pen, pen, pen three, yeah, <laughs> pen three, keep walking all the way down. We get to pen four. Pen three and four share water, one and two share water, five and six share water. So yeah, there are all of, gates are really heavy duty. Like it's gonna take a lot to bust that, break that. They're all welded in. Um, we hired somebody to do it since it ended up falling during harvest time. It also made things a lot easier because they have a crew of five, four or five people versus one or two people. So they got a lot of this done in one day, one day, yeah, today, two days, I guess. So, we gotta add some more fill back here. All the rafters are in. Um, we got cables on the second to last section on each thing, so you can see they're up there holding her together. We did get 70 mile an hour winds and it did not blow away, so <laughs> we're good on that department. And here's the end, end wall where that will be all tinned in. Um, so they gotta do all that yet and find days where it's not super windy to do that. <coughs> but there it is from the outside view. So I'm walking west right now. 304 feet long. There she is. Looks like an actual barn now, but it's really exciting. Uh, we were hoping to <sighs> be done in the next week I would say hopefully if the weather cooperates obviously the wind makes tinning not fun um the office area won't be done but will at least be done in here that we can move cattle in and wean calves and start buying cows to fill the barn since we are adding to the herd so 
that's kind of your building update. I have a whole bunch of more clips showing the process of everything, but look at that. It's an actual barn and I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, just look how just hit it. So the goal is to have no mama cow getting mad and busting through that gate, essentially. But everything is pretty heavy duty. It's all large pipe, welded, all that fun stuff. Chains and everything, so you can also chain the gates. This is the gate that goes over top of the fountain. That swings over, fits over top of it, kind of protects it a little bit, but you can move it to work on them. All the way down, same thing in every single pin. But put the curtain up, and then you can close her up tight during the lovely winter. This side doesn't shut at all, but it gives you airflow. All kinds of fun stuff. There's all your rafters up top. It's like a giant jungle gym up there if you really want to have fun. But Ness, do you like the barn? Do you got your friend? Do you like the barn? You guys play out here like crazy. So, finish the front working area, finish the two end walls, we're gonna do the office, and really, we gotta add another pipe on the back wall since it got a little higher with the concrete for when you crowd cows in there to work them. Otherwise, she is nearing the end. I